Good morning. You'll see I still have a little beard on, but I feel so compelled this morning to share this. Several years ago, whenever anyone would say anything about me, or anyone, or I would hear that someone had thought negatively about me, it would significantly impact my, not just my self-esteem, but I couldn't sleep, I couldn't function. I would constantly consider why would they think this or why would they think that. But the Lord was able to carry me through such situations. And as he did so, he began to show me that my worth, he began to show me that my ability to function never depended on what someone said or what someone thought, but it always depended on his ability in me and my trust on who I knew he was to me, and then my drawing on, on who he is within me. And so some of you this morning, there are people that have said some very negative things about you. They have treated you like a second class, third class, or even a fourth class citizen. But God would have me tell you this morning that you are Hepzibah. You are the married land of God. You are Beulah. You are the one that God has reached out and touched this morning and other mornings. You just don't always feel that way. But let's get beyond the feelings today. Let's realize that the Most High God, Jehovah is his name, <clears throat> has called you, has put you in place, has um, positioned you, and has continued to protect you. I look across the sky this morning and I see the clouds and I see the sun rising. Let the sun, the S-O-N, rise in your life this morning. You know, when people would speak about me, I felt so depressed. I felt, so, it, this was many years ago, you know, felt so down. But God has carried me through life where I know people um, that even call for themselves my friends. I know people that have prayed with me. I know people that have embraced me physically. And yet, when the Lord reveals their heart to me, I have to stop and think and wonder, you know, why do they act the way they do and have the heart that they have? And you might wonder, because I smile with the ones that I know are, are of a right heart, and I smile with the ones that I know are challenged in their heart towards me. But either case, you see, it's not a matter of me reacting to them as an individual but it's me reacting through the love of God that's within me, not what um, their stimulus might be. I cannot allow myself to be stimulated by these individuals that are either positive or negative for that matter. I cannot allow myself to be stimulated by some external force. I have to be stimulated by the Word of God. I have to be strengthened by the Word of God because that is always there. It's always sustainable. Good people come and go. Bad people come and go. Um, negative people and positive people come and go. But the Word of God remains the same and the love of God remains the same. And so no matter who they are, and people would be surprised to know what sometimes the Lord reveals to us, but we love them and we care for them and we will always be what God has destined us to be. I want to encourage you today. Let no one and nothing shut you down from having the joy of the Lord in your life today. Be strong and courageous. Be bold and let Christ truly be formed in your life. Amen.